Hey, this next question is from Andrew from uh, Lancashire in the UK. Uh, Andrew says, here's my question. My credit rating over here in the UK is terrible. Uh, can I still do no money deals without this being checked? Um, the answer is yes, absolutely. Uh, if you have credit, if you're in the United States and you have terrible credit, or if you're in the UK, it doesn't matter. You can still do these deals because it doesn't require any credit. You're not, get, you're not going to a lender. You're not, never going to a lender. No seller is ever going to check your credit report uh, if you do it properly. And, uh, and you can tell them. You can even tell them that you have bad credit, and they'll still let you do it. If you show them a path, you show you that you're competent, and you show that your solution solves their problem. And uh, that's what we do in this process. We solve the problem of other people. We, we find a need, and, and we solve it. And we do it in a way that, that is, wins for them and wins for us. We're not trying to screw someone old lady out of her inheritance, you know, out of her equity and her property so she doesn't have an inheritance for her kids. We're trying to help her find the best possible option for that deal. Sometimes the best possible option is for her to sell that property to us at a dramatic discount, and she chooses to do that. But we give her the other options as well and say, you can do this, you can do this, or you can do this. Which one makes the most sense for you? I remember as a real estate agent going to some people, uh, this happened frequently, and I'd say to them, you know, I can buy this property at this price, and, and it'll make sense for me to buy it at this price. And that price is dramatically below what I could sell it for if I were selling it as a real estate agent for you, listing it for you. You know, uh, if I sell it as a real estate agent for you, it's going to take between two and six months to get it sold. If I buy it at this price down here, down here, <laughs> uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sell immediately. I'll do it tomorrow and, uh, or in two weeks as we get clear title. And uh, many, many times they've said, I'll take, you know, I just want to get rid of it. I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't need that extra money. I can live with it if I get this money right here. And then we'll close that deal because that's the best option for them. But they understand that I could make them more money doing it the other way. And I don't lie to them about that. I want them to know and I want them to be happy. I don't want them to come back to me six months later and say, you stole my equity. No, I explained to you exactly what happened. Here's what we talked about. I even wrote it out for you. And by doing that, it made me the, the, you know, again, the most ethical person in the room. I think that's where you need to be. You always need to be the one who's going to be watching out for other people. That means also that you need to be the one who's in the most control of that transaction. So whenever you get into a transaction, you need to make sure that you're the one that's in control. So your credit doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is that you have the willingness to do the work, to structure the deals, to turn around and sell it. Now, one more thing about credit. Uh, Sam Walton used to say, uh, the guy who built Walmart, used to say, uh, I don't trust anybody that hasn't gone bankrupt at least three times. Um, I think that's a little extreme. Uh, most entrepreneurs that I know have gone bankrupt in, in their lives, uh, mainly because they did things incorrectly. They used loans, they used banks, and uh, they got underwater upside down, and uh, they lost money. That's what happened to me back in 1991, and I lost a $17 million business because I didn't structure it properly. Uh, now, when the crash came again in 2006, uh, 2007, I mean, uh, uh, everybody else was going under, but it didn't affect me because I didn't build my business the same way. I built it in a way that I wouldn't be touched, and I wasn't. I didn't lose, uh, I didn't lose my business because of it. Uh, we had some stress because of it, too, because we had some vacancies, uh, because people were losing their jobs everywhere. So a lot of the rental properties that I had, we, we, our, our vacancy rate went up. But we were able to maintain it because we had kept the proper cash reserves. We didn't have a financing problem. There were a couple of properties we gave back because they were no longer viable. But it didn't affect my credit because of the way we structured the deal in the first place. So we were able to, to maintain and get through that process and still continue to make money doing the other types of deals that we were doing. Plus, uh, that, that loss uh, to the country made a lot of opportunities for investors like me who had some capital at the, uh, at the time to be able to make some money. So anyway, I'm back to my story with, with, with Sam Walton. I'm getting a little sidetracked. Uh, he said he didn't trust anybody. He didn't go bankrupt at least three times. But what that implies is that if he went bankrupt, his credit was terrible too. <laughs> so he built Walmart and that enormous empire, that multi-billion dollar empire with bad credit. So this tells me, uh, and it should tell you as well, that you don't need good credit to be able to make a lot of money. What you need is the ability to create value for the people that you're working with. 
and they'll provide the money, whether it's through seller financing or some other method. You don't have to use your own credit. You don't have to use a bank. Uh, you don't have to use your own cash to do this stuff. And never use your own cash for deals until you know how to do it with no money. Because once you learn how to do it with no money, it, you, you've, most of the situations you're going to run into, you won't want to use your money. And then there's a few situations you'll come across, like buying REOs, you know, that have gone dramatically, that are 30 cents on the dollar, 40 cents on the dollar. Those are going to start to make sense. And I have a whole system on how I, how I did that and how I do that with, uh, with rental properties and then sell to investors. And uh, I'm able to build a complete portfolio, get continuing income from those properties, and then if I choose, sell those properties to other investors, make a profit on them, and go buy other properties and get another chunk of equity. And if you have capital, you can do that. Uh, but um, you don't want to do that even if you have capital, if you don't know how to do the zero down stuff first, because the zero down stuff teaches you where all the pitfalls are. And uh, otherwise you'll end up like me where you build a $17 million business and you lose it all because uh, the way that process worked and you didn't understand it properly. Anyway, I hope that helps. Good luck.